Hello friends. Good morning everybody. I am sitting in my mother's car and I thought I'd have a little bit of a chit chat. It's not a really in the pantry, but it's in the car. Anyway, um, you all know that I lost my father the 25th of May, Memorial Day, it was. I'll never forget it. Anyway, you all also know that my mother has been battling cancer. And like three months ago, two months ago, she was um, put in as a stable condition. They could find no more cancer. They believed it was gone. Well, unfortunately, friends my mother's cancer has returned and um that's pretty much what this chit chat is gonna be a lot of um her journey she it's just amazing though because when she was first diagnosed with cancer three years ago they gave her like four months to live. They said it was very terminal. She was diagnosed with bone cancer, brain cancer, and lung cancer, and it had mastitized from her lung. So she did uh, six months of chemo, and it did start to shrink the cancer. And after that, she wound up with a toxic level of chemo, and she got what's called, uh, she had what, what what is called chemical pneumonitis it's a it's a pneumonia and she spent some time in the hospital with that I mean it was bad they took seven liters of fluid off her lungs from that but uh, she survived that and then after that they put her on um, immunotherapy which absolutely created a storm and it just wiped out quite a bit of the cancer in in a very short amount of time so she has been stable now for three months she had been she's been in her second year of chemo and uh they found two nodules um two small cancerous nodules on her upper left lobe of her lung so but with the chemo it it damaged her arteries and that's what I told you she had to have her artery um, there's a word for it and the nurses and, and doctors friends that I have out there would know exactly what I'm talking about but they needed to go in and clean out her artery in her neck and that was gonna be on the 14th of this month well they had to cancel that because her her cancer is back and she also has um, a section of her aorta that they believe was damaged from the chemo that's starting to close up. So they have to take care of that. And that's why we're here today. I can't go in there because of COVID, obviously. So I've come up with my mom and she is now in the um, car um, cardiologist. And they're going to, you know, discuss with her what they can do with her aorta. And they're, they've postponed her neck surgery already, the carotid artery, until January, I believe. But here we go again. Start of a... It's sad. Um, I just... I have a peaceful feeling that things will be okay because my mother is so... She's such a strong woman and a determined woman that I think she's going to be all right. But here we go again. It's just a horrible battle, and it, it's terrible. It, it, it just, it, when you have a family member going through cancer treatments, it just consumes your entire life because you just, you do everything you can to help them. You, you, you want to do everything for them. You, you just want to be there all the time for them. And at the same time, you feel totally helpless. I feel totally helpless because there's nothing I can do for her physically to, to get rid of this cancer. I have prayed. 
I have prayed and prayed and prayed every day I pray and I'm just have a lot of faith and a lot of trust in God that she's gonna be okay that his will will be done um, she's a little upset uh, because she you know well of course anybody would be you you are told that your cancer is stable and they even told her her chances of it returning were, were like slim to none and then here it is again it reared its ugly head so we'll have to uh, fight through this one too hopefully we'll get through it okay we're, we've got faith and we've got hope and we've got trust and all that good stuff but I'm sitting here in this car and I'm going to take you outside because there are the most beautiful rose bushes sitting outside um, that are lined up along the edge of the parking lot here. And I have no idea how long I'm going to be sitting here, but I'm going to show you those roses because they're beautiful. Just look at how beautiful those little roses are. Look at those buds. Just gorgeous. I love them. This is a busy place here, friends. This is Traverse City, the Munson Hospital in Traverse City. And this building here is the cardiac building or the cardiac center or whatever you want to call it. But this is a gorgeous place. Traverse City is beautiful. I don't come up here too often, but it is pretty. Aren't those pretty? There's all kinds of stuff out there bushes and everything i'd love to go for a walk and show you around up here but it's drizzly and um it feels wonderful it's like probably 65 degrees outside and sleeveless but you know what it feels so good i love it 65 70. if i could live in a place where it was 70 degrees all year round i would just be in my glory so Anyway, otherwise, there's not much going on at home. Um, plans have changed. I, I had told you that I was going to be taking time off from the 14th um, to help. Um, I don't think I told you it was my mother. My mother was supposed to have the one to have surgery. I think I told you it was a family member, and I was going to take time off to help her through her recovery. But that's changed, so now I'll be still doing my videos um, and helping her at the same time. I've done that for the last three years, and I've been on YouTube for four years, so I can do this. And uh, I got a, a, some, a bunch of nice videos. I'm going to probably be doing a lot of vlogs, too. Um, I've been harvesting like crazy out of the garden and giving a lot of that away to friends. And... Um, I've got another friend who, who says, oh, I've got so much squash and stuff. Yep, yeah, my one neighbor loves to make um, noodles with it and then freeze them for later. So I'm going to be giving her some more squash too. And I, I got one of the machines that do that, but I've never used it. My mother got it and she's really impatient when it comes to stuff like that. If it doesn't work right the first time around, she gets rid of it. And she bought one of those noodle makers, or um, it makes the spiral noodles with the squash or zucchini. Well, it didn't, <laughs> she couldn't do it right, so she was going to throw it out in the trash because it was no good, you know. And I just rescued it. I said, well, let me try it, but I've never tried it yet. So that's going to be something I'm going to give a whirl to. Also, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share the recipe with you guys. I'm going to do a video on the recipe that I just tried. Um beautiful recipe. I can show you if I can reach the bag. But I can't reach the bag. Anyway, I did wraps today on what's called lavish bread. They're, they're big square. They're not the round um, tortilla breads. They're, they're the big and they're square. Well, I did a black bean and um, hummus and lettuce wrap with them and is what I did is I chopped up onion and red pepper and a little bit of garlic and I sauteed it in the pan and then I drained I rinsed and drained a can of my black beans and I added that to it and sauteed all that up real good and then I have a black bean hummus 
absolutely love this stuff. So I made some more of my black bean hummus and I took that lavish bread and I just spread that black bean hummus in a nice thin layer on top of that bread. And then I, I um, spread out the um, onions and peppers, the red peppers and the beans onto that. And then I put a layer of lettuce on there and I wrapped it up and they are fantastic. My husband, I know they've got to be good because he was in the living room and this was this morning. He was in the living room and he comes out to the kitchen. He says, my gosh, that smells so good. My mouth is watering sitting on the couch. But, you know, he can't eat a lot of onions, so he couldn't try it. And uh, But he did enjoy some of the black bean hummus with uh, a few tortilla chips. And he said it was delicious. So I know it's good. I'm going to share that in a video. Um, I'm kind of talking off the wall because my mind's not focused on one thing. It's like I'm just telling you what's coming in and out of my head. And I'm so sorry. It's not, there's no rhyme nor reason to this video. It's just a vlog. But I'm going to share that, that video with you. I'm going to share that recipe with you because you'll love it. There's no meat in it. So even I think vegans would probably be able to enjoy that recipe. I don't know about the lavish bread, but you know, the black bean hummus and the, the stir fry you betcha it's good there's a few other recipes i'm going to share with you too and that are good and i'm sure you'll like them but for today this is just a short video for those of you who pray i just would ask that you could include my mother in a prayer for you for her um that god's will will be done in this case and for those of you of my lovely friends out there who may not pray, please don't be offended by my asking. It's drizzling and the rain's coming in a little bit, but it sure does feel nice outside. And this, this is hard. This is very, very hard. She took her keys. No, she didn't. There's her keys. I gotta roll the window up. I'm getting rained on. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Oh, so we need this rain. I, I got all my grass mowed yesterday. My husband was um, fixing all the brakes in my car. Oh, my goodness, my Jeep. I almost need a new vehicle. I don't know what I'm going to do with that thing. Anyway, he fixed all the brakes. He redid all the brakes in my car while I was out mowing. And I mowed all the grass. And the only thing I didn't get to was weed whipping. I'm not good at weed whipping anyway. That Me and that weed whip don't get along. It's just like a dangerous combination. So he was going to weed whip today. But it's so drizzly and rainy that that might not happen. And uh, But I've, I've, I did a lot of work outside yesterday. I trimmed a couple of my trees. I will do another walk around and show you all the things. It looks so much better now. It, it was just when it was so hot out, that heat wave we had, you didn't dare mow your grass. There was no rain in sight. Everything was drying up. Well, my garden wasn't because I watered the heck out of it. But uh, you couldn't mow the grass. And the grass was really long and the weeds were taking over. So now it looks so much nicer that our, our heat wave has passed us and everything is cooled down and it's raining and it's just wonderful again so now the yard is put back in, into shape all i gotta do is um weed whip have my husband weed whip my chickens got out the other day i don't know how they got out but i do know that a couple of my neighbors that come around there's some of my friends bring goodies for the chickens and they'll open up the door and you know uh throw the stuff in the in their run which don't bother me that's fine um but i think it was i think it was neighbor kids because i've got a, a couple of my neighbor kids that love to come and and visit with the chickens and they'll bring them goodies but they open up the one front coop and it doesn't shut right well it was it was stuck open on the bottom and them little fat so squeezed through that door and they were out to lunch so 
And it was cute because my neighbor come and she says, do you know the girls are out? And I'm like, oh no, did they tear up your yard or your flowers? And I'm, you know, I ran out there because they can destroy your garden in no time. Eating and scratching and they just ripped the heck out of everything. So when I went out there, I grabbed a little bucket of scratch and I opened the, the coop door and half of them were still in the coop. The other half got out. Well, I just started sprinkling around in there and they all come running. They all come running from all over everywhere and they all went back in that, that quick. So that was nice. And uh, I have no idea how long she's going to be in there. But I sure hope everything goes okay in there. Um, she'll tell me when she comes out. I just love this woman. I love my mother. She's my best friend, and she has fought one hell of a cancer battle. She was 72 when she was diagnosed with this, and she's now 75, and she has fought bone cancer, brain cancer, and lung cancer. The bone cancer's gone. The brain cancer's gone. The lung cancer, it just reared its ugly head again. So hopefully she will, you know, hopefully they can, they can get rid of it because it's so small. Um, it didn't, it didn't go berserk and go all through her system, but it worries me because her doctor, when, when she was first diagnosed, he, he told her he's, he gave her like four months. And he also told her, he said, if by chance we get rid of this cancer, if it, you know, if we can kill it off and it, and get rid of it, he said, we won't know how long you would have after that. Because he told her that when it comes back, most of the time it comes back immune to everything. That's why when they say cancer, when you get rid of cancer and it comes back, it comes back with a vengeance. That's because he told us usually it comes back, it's immune to whatever they've used. So we're just hoping that, you know, and I told her, I said, well, you know, there's, they found several spots on her throughout her treatment that were um, small. And he said, a lot of times um, cancer cells might be too small for even a PET scan to pick up until they, you know, they get a little bigger. So I, you know what, I'm not medically inclined whatsoever. I just know what she tells me. And I trust that what she tells me is, you know, I told her, don't hold nothing back from me. I don't want no surprises. I want to know what's going on every step of the way. It's funny because um, I, I, um, I'm I, like mama hen to her. I don't let her do certain things. And and I, you know, I, I'm like a helicopter mom over my mother. But I told her the other day, I said that, you know, I'm sorry I'm like that. But I'm not because I, I love you. I said, you, you know, I'm 54 years old. 54 years old but she'll always be my mama. And I, don't know, I thought I saw her coming. She'll always be my mama. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, that's your mother. No, that's my mama. And I love her. And I would die for that woman. I love her. So, I think she's coming. It didn't take too long. Anyway... I'll, um, I'll turn this off so I can find out what, you know, hopefully some good news and I'll share it with you in the next video. But for now, friends, you all have a wonderful day and you know what? I'm sorry that this wasn't nothing really exciting and it was just a vlog, just a talk. I just needed to vent. I needed somebody to talk to. Thank you. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow.